certified service centers, uh, Auto Value Certified S Service Centers, Middleton Car Care over in Middleton, and Westtown Auto Repair in Carson City. Helping to bring you the racing action here tonight at Crystal Motor Speedway, the ALMS Sunoco Late Model Series. Top four late models out on the speedway for four quick laps. They pick up the pace. There's the green flag, we're underway. Rob Burns leads him down into turn one. Rusty Meisner in the second spot. Patterson to the high side of Tyson will battle for the third spot. Patterson staying on the high side of Tyson as Anna turns three and four. Rob Burns to lead lap number one. Now it's Tyson to the inside of Meisner for second. Meisner a little high up into the marbles. He'll loop the 11M. Patterson hot on Tyson's tails. They head down into turn three. Rob Burns into number 22, taking a high line off turn two. Tyson will drop to the inside. Challenge for the lead down in turn three. Patterson's gonna try and make it three wide off turn four. The white flag flies. Tyson, and nose out in front. He'll take the lead. Burns over the banking. Now it's Patterson to the inside of Tyson. Down the back stretch for the final time. Patterson will go low. Tyson high. Chris Patterson, he's got to back out of it. He'll bring it down to the wire. Whoa, that one was too close to call. Lots of action in a first four-lap race. The winner, the Zero P out of St. John's, Chris Patterson, our fast qualifier tonight, picking up the fast car dash. Two, Jerry Bowersock on the inside in the black and white 11. Curtis Roberts on the outside in the blue and white number nine. Then row three, Rusty Meisner in the 11M. Chris Patterson in the Zero P car. Fourth row on the inside, first showing this year. Kevin Freed in the 17, Eric Champ beside him in 96. Then it's Mike Powell in the 2X, Rob Willard in the 06, and Jay Van Dyke in 77. Off and underway, Tom Stafford leads the charge down into turn one. Bowersock up for second spot now, then it's True Blood, Roberts and Meisner. Roberts to the inside of True Blood, he'll take third with a number nine. Patterson working on the inside of Meisner now, going for that fifth spot. He'll go to the inside looking for fourth, but Rusty, or er, Billy Trueblood there, he has to back out of it. Tom Stafford out front, Jerry Bowersock in the second spot, Curtis Roberts, third in the nine car, then it's Billy Trueblood. Chris Patterson, Rusty Meisner, Kevin Freed, and Mike Powell, then it's Eric Chant, Jay Van Dyke, and Rob Willard. Challenge for the lead, Bowersock up on the inside of Stafford now. They go even into turn three. Stafford up high. Bowersock down on the inside. Curtis Roberts trying to make it a three wide battle. They get together. Stafford goes for a spinner. Bowersock headed for the wall and the yellow flag will fly. Jerry Bowersock gets the 11 car gathered up. Keeps it off that front stretch wall. Some wild action here in his first heat event for the late model division. It's season championship here at the Crystal Motor Speedway sponsored by American Engines out of Eaton Rapids. Here we go, gang, back at it with the late models. Back underway, Curtis Roberts opens up a big lead right off the bat with the number nine car, Patterson and Trueblood battling it out for the number two spot. Jerry Bowersock trying to make his way up back toward the front. He and Tom Stafford side by side now off turn two. Mike Powell making a move to the inside of Kevin Freed. He'll move up into the fifth spot as Patterson goes to work on True Blood for second. Patterson wants that low line. True Blood keeping a 35 down on the bottom of the track and blocking that lane as they head through the corners. Once again in three and four, Patterson will go low. This time he'll make the pass. Curtis Roberts out front, now Chris Patterson, a half a straightaway back in the OP. Two blood for third, four spot, Rusty Meisner, then it's Mike Powell. Challenge for the four spot, down the back stretch, Mike Powell to the inside of Rusty Meisner, they go even into turn three. Powell down low, Meisner up in the marbles. And Powell take four spot with a 2X machine. 
trouble on to number nine. Curtis Roberts off the pace. Chris Patterson, your new leader. White flag flying. Billy Trueblood for the second spot. Mike Powell now third. Rusty Meisner fourth. Then it's Kevin Frieden at this spot. Bowerstock up to six now in the 11B. Then it's Tom Stafford, Eric Chant, Jay Van Dyke, and Rob Willard. Here's the winner. Second checkered flag of the night, our fast qualifier out of St. John's. Chris Patterson posting the win. So on the inside. It'll be Rob Burns in the 22, beside him Scott Tyson in the one T machine, then fourth row. Tom Dusen in the yellow 10, beside him Tim Throop in the 32. Fifth row, Brock Cogswell in the 09, Rich Neiman in the 27, Alvy Haynes at the rear in the 18. Underway, Jeff Chapko out to there to lead, Jeff Cohn for second, then it's Flynn and Vanderveen will go to the inside of Flynn. They battle for third down in turns three and four, and Vanderbeen will make the pass good for third. Challenge for the lead. Chapko drifts high. Cone down on the inside. They go even off turn two. It's a drag race down to turn three. Cone gets a nose out front. Chapko not giving up easy. Trying to stay with him now. He'll slide back. Vanderbeen up to challenge for second now on the inside groove of the 57X. Bob Flynn will run fourth. This spot. Is Rob Burns in the 22, then it's Scott Tyson, Tom Dusen, Brock Cogswell. Off turn four. Chapko drifts a little bit high, and Vanderbeen to the inside for the second spot, now to 57. Tom Dusen going for a slider off turn three and four. He rolls to a stop. Should see the caution flag. And it does fly. We slow the field here in this second heat event for the late models. For the green flag in the final six laps. Back underway. Vanderveen takes a stab at the lead. Tries to get a fender up underneath Cone. He'll follow him down to back shoot. Go at him once again down to turn three and four. Bob Flynn up even now with Jeff Chapko. They go side by side into turn one for the third spot. Down low in the 0-2, Bob Flynn takes third. Jeff Cohn making that number 25 as wide as he can through the corners, protect that lead with a 25. Chapko gets back around Flynn. Now Flynn going back at Chapko. They go even off turn two. Flynn by a nose into turn three. Chapko working a high groove. Cone and Vanderveen with a half a straightaway advantage over the rest of the field. Bob Flynn in third spot with Chapko right there working him over in a 0C. He'll pull even and move on by down into turn one. They keep swapping lanes, swapping positions. Now it's Flynn to lead him off turn two. Scott Tyson fifth behind that battle in the 1T. There's a white flag, final lap. Down into turn three for the final time. Jeff Cohn bringing a 25 down to victory. Troy Vanderbeek for a second, then it's Bob Flynn third. Fourth spot will be Jeff Chapko and Scott Tyson rounding out the top five. Jeff Cohn, 29 year old driver. 30 feature laps of racing here for the late models tonight at the Crystal Motor Speedway. Chris Patterson on the pole, Jeff Cohn alongside, Bill Trueblood inside the second row with Troy Vanderveen alongside him. That's the front two rows, there go Green this time by. <laughs> Jeff Cohn wins the drag race down to turn one, Patterson for second, then it's Vanderveen and Trueblood battling the third spot, bumping and banging back in the pack midway down the backstretch. <laughs> Jeff Cohn opens up about an eight car link advantage over Patterson. Vanderveen and Trueblood battle seesaw back and forth to that third spot. At the line, it's Trueblood.
Youngblood scoring third. Vanderine fourth. This spot now Bob Flynn. Then it's Mike Powell. The second, Bill Trueblood third, then it's Troy Vanderveen, Mike Powell, Bob Flynn, Jeff Chapko, Rusty Meister, and Kevin Freed. Three wide over in turn two as they race back in the back for position. Moving it on slower traffic as he heads through turns three and four. Here's your leader off the fourth turn. Patterson maintained in second, Trueblood third. Then it's Vanderveen, Mike Powell, Rusty Miser, Bob Flynn, Scott Tyson, Jeff Chapko, Jerry Bowersock, Kevin Freed, Jay Van Dyke, Brock Coxwell, Tom Stafford, Eric Chant, Tom Dusen, and Curtis Roberts. Defco now closing in on slower traffic over in turn three. Trying to thread his way through the slower cars. Now as he heads off turn four, he'll drop to the inside and even now. Cone having trouble finding the way by the slower traffic. He'll follow him down the back stretch down in turn three. Patterson now closing the gap on your leader. Trouble in turn one and two. Kevin Freed in trouble in the 17. Looks like a motor letting go in the number 17 car. Once again, Jeff Cohn opens up that lead as he three wheels the number 25 down the back chute. Challenge for the sixth spot, Jerry Bauer. Rusty Miser alongside Bob Flynn. They go side by side down the back stretch toward turn three. Race for the sixth position. Look out, trouble here in the front stretch. Bob Flynn in the 02 car. Right front suspension collapsing on that number 02, and Bob Flynn rolls to a stop on the top side of the second turn. Final 18 laps. Here's the green, we're underway. for the fifth spot as they head toward turn three. Scott Tyson looking to make a move underneath Mark pa Mike Powell for position. That's for fifth. That race headed down toward turn one now. Tyson looking to the inside line. Jeff Cohn once again opens up about a 10 car length advantage over Patterson, Trueblood, Vanderveen, Powell, Tyson, Bowersock, and Van Dyke.
Side by side now for the fifth spot. Tyson gets a door slammed in his face as he entered the turn one. Mike Powell able to hold him off so far. As Cohen going unchallenged out front to number 25. Cone at the start finish line, moving in on the back end of the field now. With Patterson second, True Blood third, four spot Vander Veen in the 57X. Mike Powell hanging on to fifth in the 2X car. Six spots got Tyson in the 1T. Then it's Jerry Bowersock in that seventh spot with the black and white 11. Eight spot, Jay Van Dyke in the green and white 77. Ninth, the number nine of Curtis Roberts. Tom Stafford rounds out the top 10 in the blue number 23. Side by side racing in the back part of the field as your leader Jeff Cohn closes in on those slower cars now in turn three. his way up to the slower traffic, dives underneath Tim Throops, number 32, makes the move there, but a five car battle in front of your leader now. As they race for position, he'll have to pick his way through the traffic. Chris Patterson will try and close in on your leader and maybe mount a charge here in the final laps and use that lap traffic to his advantage. Cone having trouble getting around Burns, they hook up. Burns down to the infield, Cone able to drive away now. Patterson now within striking distance. Just one car between he and your leader. Bill Trilla and Troy Vanderbeek continue to battle at third and fourth spot now as they run nose to tail. Cone trying to open up that lead, move past the slower traffic. He'll get hung up just a little bit in turn four. Patterson trying to reel him in. Back that battle for fourth and fifth spot. Mike Powell and Scott Tyson, the 2X and the 1T as they head through turn four. Going at it for that fifth spot. As your leader, Jeff Cohn, still trying to pick his way through the slower traffic. I see the white flag on the flag stand. One final lap to go. White flag for your leader, Jeff Cohn. Patterson second, third spot, the 35 of Bill Trueblood. Fourth will be Troy Vanderveen and Mike Powell fifth. Down into turn three for the final time. And trying to pick his way through safely. There's the checkered flag. Cone will post the win over Patterson. Defending track champion here at the Crystal Motor Speedway made good on a front row starting spot. Went on to take the big win here in the ALMS feature tonight. Give it up, race fans. Jeff Cohn down in victory lane.